Welcome back to Move It Fix Monday. I'm here with Marlo Fiskin, who's going to take us through a uh, mobility flow. Yes. Did I say it right? Yeah. That's what it is. A flowability. A flowability. Uh, this is also the first time I've had a guest with a flash dance shirt on. <laughs> It's a classic. <laughs> so what is, let's see this flow and take me through it. If okay, you could, so it's, it's going to sway from one side to the other. Okay. Two positions that look similar but feel quite different. So our starting position is this, which is essentially I remember this. a seated half straddle. It's a popular one when you're working with the floor. First, we're going to sweep the arms around the back of the bent leg side. So I think of making a circle uh -huh. and I plant my hand down and then I make another circle. And when I feel like I cannot reach any further, I internally rotate that leg and hip and I press my pelvis forwards with a soft elbow. Okay. Like that. Let's do that part first. All right, yeah? so I'm here. So before the arm goes back, think about yeah, it's breaking a really big circular radius. And then you plant the hand. The elbow can stay bent so that it can spin towards your hips. There you go. Okay. And then keep reaching your other arm. Yeah, good. And reach through the fingertips. And you can also flex this foot so it's like really reaching. <sighs> Are you breathing, Ryan? Yep. Are you sure? Uh-huh. Can I hear it? <laughs> Give me a nice deep breath in. And then think about turning your armpit up towards the sky a little bit more on that bottom side. Oh. Oh, there you go. If you bend your elbow, that works much better. Uh-huh. Yes. So you think about turning your rib cage up towards the sky. And then you slowly sit down while reaching forward. So make that same circle with your arm that you made before as you Back start to down. sit down. Yeah. Keep reaching, keep reaching, keep reaching. Good. And you keep it going all the way to the outside of the other hip. And this foot starts to find the floor, and you keep circling this one. I have a bent front leg, which is going to make getting up a little bit more pleasant. And I'm turning my hips to face the back. Uh -huh. And that same deal with that bottom arm. You think of swinging your elbow forwards, it can bend. And you look towards your fingertips. And you take a breath in. And then as you exhale, you come back around to the front. So what we have is a sway onto the knee and you point the toes of the bottom foot and you press the pelvis forwards. Take a breath in. And then as you exhale, you reach, you send your pelvis back at the same time you reach your hand forwards. And you keep going, keep going, keep going. Your feet are ready to take the floor. And then you transfer your weight into your legs for this one so that you can press your pelvis open and you can let your fingertips even spin back if your weight's on the heel of your hand. Yeah. And then exhale. So that's obviously one side. How are you yeah. feeling? I'm cramping in like so many places. <laughs> my foot cramped and then like my sides. <laughs> so <laughs> clearly I don't do that movement very often. So there's a, there's a lot going that's on. That's awesome. There's a yeah. lot going on during that. Um, and I'm, I'm bringing particular attention to how you roll across your feet because uh -huh. something that happens when people try to get into these stretch positions or the positions they use for the mobility work, yeah. the way that they connect to the ground is it hasn't received a lot of attention. And as yeah. a result, it sometimes creates a locked feeling higher up in the body. So uh. depending on how you place your feet on the floor, or how you rotate your thigh from that up the chain, it will affect the sense of freedom that you have in your pelvis, your spine, and your breath. Yeah, so if you're here like super rigid versus turning so yeah. and allowing the weight to Something shift. Something you'll see a lot in, so the, the first position we did is essentially this, like kind yeah. of kneeling arch, right? Uh -huh. Get the stretch to the side body. Yep. On the other side in yoga, this position is called a wild thing. They call that, oh, don't you feel it? <laughs> no? I feel like every position has a yoga name. <laughs> Probably, most, yeah. But you see something like this a lot. Yes. A very linear approach, which tends to like jam the pelvis and the lower spine. So by turning it into a circular motion, yeah. loading the legs, you're able to kind of negotiate between your legs and your arms. Uh -huh. And then you can use these positions in a 
dynamic way <laughs> rather not, than okay. whoo, being yeah. stuck in them. I'm, so, not, I'm not doing that one yet. <laughs> not yet, but it, it, <laughs> it comes from what we were practicing, yeah. which is That's where this goes. taking care of how you roll your weight from one to the other. Uh -huh. It doesn't mean you have to go to the extreme of your stretch to benefit greatly from it. And I think that's uh, something that we don't always understand. It's not about going to the end and staying there. It's, no, it's not. starting to uh, dissect the process and understand it a bit better. Yeah, and I think one thing like to glean from this too is like rather than just trying to like get to the most stretched position and like force that, there's like the fluidity and like where does that transition to and like what happens yeah. next? And I think that's something we miss a lot of like, well, let me just get here and stretch it as hard as possible. Yeah. It's, and it's not like, based on the shape. Yeah. It's not based on the shape. It's the, the process of getting there. And the more attention you put in the process, <laughs> chances are that it's going to positively affect what yeah. happens at the end. Yeah. Awesome. So. Cool. Well, you guys should definitely try this. It is a unique, this is probably really easy for you. <laughs> it's quite challenging for me. It all starts. It all starts there. With this, really. One hip so to I hope, the other. I hope you guys pause the video right now <laughs> and get on the ground or get on the ground and just do this. Uh, but where, where can people learn more about, about it? Because like I won't remember how to do this probably. So like where could I learn other than watching this video on repeat? Where could I learn more from you I about have these things? many videos available, uh -huh. some for free, some for purchase at flowmovement.net. Okay, flowmovement.net. This is most like what I teach in the videos called flowability, which are mobility enhancing sequences that have an uh, emphasis on the flow Oh, that's actually what it's called. When, when, actually, you said, when you said that earlier. I was kind earlier. of joking, but that's actually what <laughs> okay, it's called. Okay, so flowability. So flowability, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So it's mobility, but in flows and movements and not just it's, like static linear stretches. That's kind of what yeah. people can find there. It's, uh, and I think that for many people that approach helps them stay focused because they feel like they're in motion rather than <laughs> suffering in a position. It yeah. becomes dynamic and more functional it's more way. fun and yeah. like you're not counting like the seconds in a stretch right it's no. it's getting no. into the positions then transitioning in and out of those and, and i give you my best soothing teacher voice do you i do yeah because you <laughs> practice before you recorded those it just comes yeah. naturally with all the experience it does it does awesome well thanks for sharing that thank you make sure you guys check that out and uh if you didn't watch the previous video or the other videos that we did together, uh, together, make sure to check those out as well. And I'll see you guys next week.